differences over Iran continue to strain the U.S.-Israel relationship, a showdown that is heating up ahead of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's upcoming address to Congress. On Wednesday, it was John Kerry's turn to take a jab at the Israeli Premier's vocal opposition to Washington's ongoing efforts to forge a nuclear deal with Tehran. He was extremely outspoken about how bad the interim agreement was, during which time he called it the deal of the century for Iran, even though it has clearly stopped Iran's program, and more importantly, he has decided it would be good to continue it. He may have a judgment that just may not be correct here. Just weeks ahead of Israel's elections, back and forth, Jerusalem and Washington trade barbs, with Netanyahu insistent the White House is on the verge of cutting a deal that would leave Iran as a nuclear threshold state. I respect the White House and the President of the United States, but in a matter that is so crucial that it could determine if we continue to exist or not, it is my duty to prevent this grave danger from the state of Israel. With reports of a prospective deal being limited in duration and allowing Iran to retain thousands of centrifuges, Netanyahu's objections can only be expected to strengthen, even if they risk weakening relations with Israel's most important ally.